Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be making some short rib grilled cheese paninis and we're gonna use our Ninja Foodie grill and griddle to do it. Y'all gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen, so glad you're here. Listen, we got a good one for you today. We are going to do an awesome panini. We're gonna use some grilled short rib meat in there, some fancy cheeses, I got a smoked Gouda, I got a hatch green chili cheddar. All right, so we're going hard, we're going hard with the uh, the cheeses on there. Got a new setup for, the, for the, the video today. I'm excited about all what's going on. Got my guys behind the camera over there. Okay, guys, before we get started on this, though, I want to remind you all to hit that subscribe button. Listen, we're on the road to 100,000. I want to get there by the end of the year, so you make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, so let's go ahead and get started doing the braise on the short ribs because that's going to take you the longest amount of time. It's going to be probably about three hours, give or take. Maybe a little bit less because I got the... I got some boneless short ribs right here. All right, usually I like my short ribs with the bone in, insert joke down below, but these are what I was able to get a hold of, okay? So let's go ahead and get these seasoned up. We got a Dutch oven going on the stove right now that we're gonna sear these bad boys in, and then we're gonna get it covered in some broth and into the oven, which I already have preheated to 350. And as always, exact measurements, ingredients, cooking time, prep, all that stuff will be down below in a link to my website, which will be, it's over here, if I remember right, there you go. So right here, see, I'm paying attention. Anyway, so make sure you click on that, get a printable recipe and, and guide for this one. Let's go ahead and get started prepping these uh, short ribs. We'll get them on the stove. All right, team, we're ready to get these short ribs braised up. I got them out of the package, I cleaned them up. There was some silver skin on them. Got rid of that. Now we're just gonna do a simple uh, salt, pepper, garlic seasoning on it. This one's from Cosmo. I'll leave a link down below, uh, but you can use any kind of all-purpose seasoning you want. All right, these are pretty tacky. They've been sitting for a hot second, so I'm not gonna use any oil or binder. So I want you to come check this out. We're just gonna do a light coat on there. When we sear it off, it'll sear in the flavor. Kind of get covered all sides, kind of press it in, let that seasoning absorb. Real simple. So we have our mirepoix ready to go here. We got some carrots, onions, celery. Once we brown off these short ribs, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these vegetables in there, let them sweat out a little bit, saute a little bit, and then we'll add our stock, our beef, all that good stuff back in there. So meet me on the stove and uh, we'll get these seared off. <laughs> all right, y'all, we're on the stove. We have our Dutch oven heating up with a little bit of olive oil in there, all right? Now we're gonna sear off those lovely short ribs, get them nice and brown on all sides. Now, I know we're talking about braising the short ribs a lot in the beginning of this video about a grilled cheese panini, but unfortunately we gotta get the braised short ribs done in order to finish off and make that panini, right? So stick around and bear with us, all right? Okay, so we have our nice, lovely seasoned short ribs. I'm gonna get them in the pan. If you guys don't have one of these, uh, you don't have one of these Dutch ovens, I'll put a link down below for one, but you can use any other pan you have just to brown these off. All right, so obviously you can hear the noise. They're searing up, they're gonna be nice and brown. We'll do a close up, you can see when they're done and you know how browned up we like them. But this adds a little extra flavor. Actually, it just takes it to the next level. So if you're gonna braise anything, make sure you get a nice sear on it first, all right? Uh, real quick while we're waiting for this to finish kind of searing in, comment down below Tell me what you think of our new setup here. I got a, a real crew working with me. Make things a little easier on your boy. Usually it's just a one man show, but we're gonna do a few videos today with this crew. If you guys dig the way it looks, give that thumbs up, comment down below, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep bringing them back, all right? All right guys, we're about ready to flip these, but I wanna show you what we're looking for. That nice browning. You wanna get that pretty much on all sides. All right, there you go. All right, team, we went ahead and pulled out the short ribs. Now let's start getting our veggies in there. Get those sweated off. What's gonna happen is we're gonna use the moisture in these vegetables. It's gonna help scrape off all them good bits on the bottom of the pan, the fond. Get some flavors, extra flavors going. You can see how they're changing color already. 
getting all the goodness off the bottom of the Dutch oven here. All right, team, our veggies are uh, sweated down. I'm gonna add a big healthy tablespoon of minced garlic. And you know, like I said, it doesn't matter who minces it as long as it's minced. So don't judge it in the comments. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our meat back in, right? Oh, get it mixed up in there in the vegetables. And we got all our uh, juices from uh, pulling them out. Put those back in. Should we get a little mixy mix in there? Yeah. Gonna throw a couple uh, sprigs of rosemary in there. Get our beef stock. We're gonna go with about six cups. You wanna get it pretty covered in there. Okay, we have it completely submerged where we wanna be. I'm gonna cap it and then get it into a 350 oven, okay? We already have the oven preheated. It was 350. We're gonna go about three hours or until it's kind of fork tender and we can start pulling it apart, okay? We want that braised shore ribs to be completely done, okay? All right, guys, so we got our big Dutch oven here. We're going in the stove, or we're going in the oven with it. We're gonna cook with it covered for a couple hours, and then in that last hour, we'll, uh, We'll take the lid and put it askew a little bit, let some of that steam escape and let that, uh, let the juices in there reduce, okay? Once these short ribs are, uh, are done, right, we're gonna pull them out, shred them up, put those to the side. We'll start working on that panini. Like I said, we got some smoked Gouda and we got this hatch green chili cheddar, little white cheddar. So I figure it might be really, well, I know it's gonna be really tasty in this, uh, in this panini, okay? What we're also gonna do, there's a lot of juices in there. We're gonna pull some of those out, reduce them a little bit and make it kind of like a au jus. So we'll dip our paninis in that reduced brazen liquid. So it's gonna be really tasty. Guys, wanna stick around for sure. All right, team, we're ready to build these sandwiches. We got those braised short ribs out of the oven, shredded them up, right? Uh, really simple braising technique that is perfect for this type of uh, meal. Right now, I took some of the braising liquid. It's on the stove reducing. So we'll have a little something to dip our sandwiches in, our paninis in. But let's go ahead and get this uh, foodie grill on. Plug it in, please. <laughs> All right, let's get this foodie grill on. All right, so first off, we have the griddle plate in there. All right, we're gonna do something I like to do with my grilled cheese, and that's toast the inside of uh, the sandwich first, okay? So we have our griddle plate in there. We're gonna put a little olive oil on these uh, on the bread. This is a nice Italian loaf bread, really, really tasty. And we're gonna toast them off for a little bit, and then we're gonna pull the griddle plate out just for a hot second while we build these sandwiches on the grill grate, and then we're gonna use the griddle plate as the panini press on top, all right? So we got a lot of things going on here. We're gonna use the griddle setting. Uh, we can use 400 degrees. It ain't gonna take more than like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, you know, you know, however you got, however toasty you like your paninis, you know, that's what you go to. But let's go ahead and get this foodie grill on now that we've plugged it in. We're gonna turn it to the griddle setting. 400 for 30 minutes is perfect. Hit start, get the preheating going while it's going. Let's get a little olive oil on our bread here. You guys can use butter if you want. Just got a little olive oil. All right, just kind of rub it in. And this will be the inside. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna toast the inside so we'll have a nice strong base. It won't get soggy in there. And uh, this is how I like to do my grilled cheese. Okay. All right, team, we've toasted the inside of our bread right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get them off onto the, onto my little prep area over here. And then I'm gonna take off the griddle plate and just set it down right here. Be careful, it's going to be hot. Ouch, see what I'm telling you? And we're gonna get our bread on, uncooked side down or untoasted side down. I'm gonna add a little of the cheese on there. I'm gonna add cheese on both sides. Okay guys, I took off the lid or the, the top bun because I wanna get the the meat on there. I want to have room for this to grow and melt and come together. Get a nice meaty short rib sandwich there. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese on the top. Just this little binder, a little glue on there to have it stick to the top. And I told you we're using a little smoked gouda and a little hatch green chili cheddar. And don't worry about the cheese going everywhere. Now I'm gonna cap it. Give it a nice press. All right. We're gonna add 
our griddle plate to the top. So it's getting heat from the top and from the bottom, making us a nice panini. All right, guys, I flipped it. Uh, the bottom side was getting a little bit more heat, obviously, than the top side. So uh, we're just gonna roll with it. It's looking good. And uh, it's melting up real nice in there. It can be really dang tasty. Look at those nice grill marks. This is a true grilled cheese panini. Let's go. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Just keep it pressing. Here we go. We're gonna give it a couple beats and then we'll pull it off. Now let's get this bad boy off. Looking gorgeous. I'm excited for this one. Short ribs, grilled cheese. What could possibly you want more? There we go. Looking nice. We go that set for a little bit. Shut this down. What do you say? You guys want to give it a cut? You give it a nice diagonal cut. Crispity, crunchy. Got the goodness in there. Nice melty, cheesy goodness. All right, guys. You take a couple pictures, and then we'll, uh, we'll give it a bite. We'll give it a try. I'm excited about this one. Look at the color on it, though. I mean, seriously. Whew. Okay. Come on back. All right, guys. I've been waiting for this. I know you have been too. Let's dip it. Got a little au jus right here. Ooh, that juice hot. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> That's good to go right there, baby. Oh, wow. Guys, listen. Taking the time to braise those short ribs will elevate your panini, your grilled cheese game to, like, stratospheric levels, okay? So, real easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time, right? But totally worth it in the end. This is probably the best grilled cheese sandwich or panini you'll ever have. And it's very cool to have it done on the foodie grill and you know turn it into a little panini press. So a little, little tip from me to you right there. You got a panini press with that foodie grill. Okay. If y'all want to get one of these Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddles, I'll put a link down below. Knives, cutting boards, merch, all that good stuff I use in my videos. Links are all down below. If you want to become a show producer like all these grilled cheese loving people. These awesome people, mm -hmm. love you guys. Hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, we are done. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.